And good morning, everybody. This is Sharice Spondrick with United Tribes Technical College, and our free-for-all today is going to be talking about United Tribes Technical College. And we're just glad that you joined us, and we want to thank Jim and the station here for um, allowing us to come on and be able to share a little bit about the college and tell the listeners a little bit more about what we do out there and what all goes on at the college and, and all of the exciting things. And, of course, this week has been exciting because it's been student orientation week. We're getting ready. School starts on Monday for United Tribes out on campus. And um, I'll just throw that little bit in there. I'm taking a couple of classes myself. So I sat in on some of the student orientation yesterday and that was a little bit different. So I'm excited about that part of it. And, uh, but the other part that's coming up for us right now is, is the powwow. And so powwow and the summit, which is our tribal leadership summit is gonna be coming up. And uh, that always happens in that first week right after Labor Day. And everybody gets all excited about that, and we're gearing up for it. And it's been crazy busy on campus, making sure that we can accommodate having all of our students coming in and having the elementary school. So elementary school on started last Wednesday, I believe. So the little kids are running around on campus, and the playground is full. And I love this time of year so that we get a chance to have everybody come back to campus and all the staff and faculty are back. And we get a chance to have the whole family back together again. So it's exciting to have that happen. But we want to talk a little bit about um, this morning uh, to give you a little more information about the powwow that's coming up. It is our community event that we do, and we like to make sure that um, everybody out there knows what's going on and that you're more than welcome to come out and, and share this time with us. That's why we do it, and, and one of those things to be able to share a little bit more about the culture and help with that education piece. And so... Um, Today we have Julie Kane, who is the chairwoman for the powwow, and we would like to be able to have her share a little bit more about what's going on with the powwow and how you can um, come out out to the powwow and and get involved. Thank you, Sherise. I know it's so exciting this year um, about our 46th annual powwow, international powwow. And I say international because we have people from all over the world coming to, uh, you know, visit um, new friends, old friends, and people just wanting to know about our uh, Plains uh, Indian tribes here that we have in the Dakotas and Montana. And so it's just like it's a big gathering and Sheree's talking about education. Um, Education is the key. If you haven't ever attended United Tribes Pow Wow, um, I would truly recommend that you come out and enjoy some of the spectacular culture that we have as Native American people. And um, it all starts in 21 days. Oh, there's so a countdown it's coming, now. <laughs> Yeah, it's coming up. So uh, we start September 10th through the 13th. And uh, we start with our grand entry on uh, Thursday night, September the 10th at 7 p.m. And then from there on through the weekends, grand entries are from 1 o'clock in the afternoon and seven o'clock in the evening and on um, each day they'll they'll have a grand entry for that and if you haven't been to a grand entry ever at United Tribes Powwow you are missing out because it is a parade of colors that you would not believe it makes goosebumps on your arms it's so Mm -hmm. beautiful and so um, you know we have special uh, events at that same time on, uh, of course, Thursday we start. And then on Friday is our Youth Day, which we have a big array of entertainers who are Native American children and former students from United Tribes showing off our uh, spectacular dancing and drumming. Um, and we have uh, children from all over Bismarck and Mandan attending that. And we have close to 1,500 students that attend that just for the education. And and um, it's just something that we've we've really worked on and, and the community um, all comes out and, 
you know, they're, they're really happy that their children can go to those things like that and learn. And so that maybe brings the community. Maybe they'll bring back their moms and dads. And Julie, on that youth, on the <coughs> youth day, when you talk about that part of it, we send out invitations, right, that go out to oh, each yes. one of the schools in the Bismarck Mandan area. So the schools are very aware of that, and they decide which classes. Is it, is it the fourth grade class? Is yes, it is. Is grade that comes in every year? It's the fourth grade class that is kind of targeted, so all of the schools send their fourth graders. But it's not just um, close to other grades. We we get uh, different, all different grades of school children. Um, in fact, um, some of the colleges want to come there for their diver- diverse oh. cultures too. So, yeah, in, it's just something really spectacular. Um, we'd like to uh, thank the Bismarck School System for uh, helping us with that. that, with sponsoring that too. So that's that's really wonderful. And that happens on Friday morning, right? Right, Friday morning, and then grand entry at one o'clock, and then um, we go on on se- at seven o'clock is the next grand entry, and then Saturdays our big day for our parade. And that uh, that is um, a new route that we're. It's something yes. new this year that we'll be doing, and we have a new route that we're will be taking. And so it's um, on Sixth Street. It, it'll go down Sixth Street, uh, go across to Avenue A, and over onto Fourth Street. So mark your spots for Saturday. Yes. Yep, it's yes. a little bit different route this time. Yes, so. and our Grand Marshal will be Grace Link this Miss year. Grace Link, yes, yep. we're but so excited. Former, yeah, former wife of the great Art Link, and they were great supporters of United Tribes, and so we're really happy and, and honored to have Grace be yes. our Grand Marshal. And then we have um, at the powwow. Getting back to the uh, the prices, um, it is twenty dollars for the weekend and ten dollars if you want to do a day pass. But uh, it's it's just a spectacular event, and you can't miss it this year. If you've wanted to go every year, I'd like you to be sure and put it on your calendar. 21 okay. more days. Yep. And if you And we'll talk a little come, bit more about it here in, in our next break. Okay. And then so come and enjoy the food. Come and enjoy the culture. It's beautiful. You're never more than a few minutes from a weather update here on Super Talk 1270. And we're back and we want to thank you all for listening. And this is uh, United Tribes Technical College. Um, my, my name is Sharice Fondrick, and I work out at the college, and we're here today talking a little bit about the powwow that's coming up in September and the, and the summit. And, you know, Julie, Julie Kane is here, and she is our chairwoman for the, for the powwow, which is a pretty major undertaking. I mean, this is a big event that we have, and it's a huge community event that we put together this event for a lot of people that know and what it brings into the the economic of development piece even for the Bismarck Mandan area and we know already through hotels and restaurants and you know a few million dollars that are brought in during that week during that week also because it's not just the powwow that we have the leadership the tribal leadership summit which happens on Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday we have the whole civic center for those 3 days and there are meetings that are going on because all of the tribal leadership comes together once a year and we set up this this huge summit for them and they come in and they talk about all of their issues and the, the things that they want to be able to address for the coming year. And so we go through all of that and so that that right there brings a lot of people into town even before the powwow even starts. So that whole week has become kind of United Tribes Week, and we have a lot of different things that are happening on that. And and I'm going to turn it over to Julie here when she was talking about um, our Youth Day that we have on Friday. That starts out. We have we, the powwow starts on Thursday with our first grand entry, and then Friday is our Youth Day with all the kids that get to come out, and it's an educational piece that we do for the community that morning. And then grand entry again at one o'clock. 
and um, Saturday, working into Saturday with our parade happening downtown. And so we hope that you all will come out for the parade. And for those businesses that are out there listening, you are more than welcome to be involved in our parade also. So Julie, tell them a little bit about that part of it on the parade and being able to, um, they can go on the website to register and have a float if anybody would be wanting to be in the parade. Right. And that is truly a spectacular event also. We have all of our Native American floats uh, where we'll have a lot of the dancers who are our contest dancers in the floats. So it's very, very colorful. And yes, we invite everyone if they want to come and be in the parade. If if you want to have a, a float yourself, um, you're certainly welcome. Just go on our website and and uh, look for a registration form, and it's twenty five dollars to mm-hmm. have a float registered. So um, you'd be able to do that. But uh, if not, you come and watch our parade. It is so beautiful. Bring the lawn chairs yep. and the kids. Yep, yep. And you know the new route this year, 6th mm-hmm. Street and 4th Street and yep. Avenue A. So um, mark your spots there. And then uh, on Saturday also, we have the um, uh, three affiliated tribes, Mandan, Arikara, and, and um, Hadatsa. Hadatsa. Uh, they're sponsoring a feed. Um, and Saturday evening at 5 p.m., and everyone's welcome for that. And then also on Sunday, the United Tribes Technical College will be offering our spectacular buffalo feed, and our buffalo is donated from the uh, Spirit Spirit Lake Lake Tribe. Yeah, Spirit Lake Nation. And so... um, We invite everybody out for that, and that starts at 4 o'clock, and that's free. So if you haven't eaten buffalo before, come on out. It's delicious. Yes, yes. Yes. Or, of course, you can go to the food stands, too, Mm -hmm. which are um, just an array of different foods and and coming from different cultures, but um, you got to have an Indian taco. Yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And not to mention the arts and crafts, the, the vendors that we have there, too, because we're full. Both the food vendors and all of the arts and crafts, we're full. Everybody, I know the deadline is passed now for the applications for all of them, and and uh, they're working on putting the placement together to be able to get everybody in there. So if you're interested in that, that's part of it, too. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, Charisse, we can't forget our hat boot dance special that we're doing again this year. Last year, we ran it for the very first time, and it was so successful. We had so many contesting in that, only because as Native American people, we hold the horse very sacred in each tribe, and each tribe has their own story, spectacular story about how the horse came to be um, here for the people. So in our tribes, we practice this uh, horse uh, uh, culture for a long, long time. And um, now we're bringing the contest to our ring. Um, We'll have dancers representing the horse culture. And then also with that, we have the tribal horse song drum contest. And that is a contest that uh, you can enter and um, big prizes. For first place, 12, second place, 800, third place, 600, and fourth place, 400. But the rules are you have to sing one of your songs representing the horse culture. And then uh, when the contest goes on, um, we will also be bringing out that great culture with the dancers. So you'll see um, dancing with cowboy hats, with ropes, um, with different regalia that our cowboys bring back to our history. To the history. I know with that, the hat and boot contest, when we did it last year for the first time, that was the first time I'd ever seen that. 
And so all of the dancers, even though they're they're contestants in the powwow, but if they want to be part of the hat and boot contest, you have to have a hat and you have to wear boots. So they have the rest of their regalia on there too, and they also some of them had the ropes where they were able to twirl the rope. I it it was pretty amazing to see that and to watch them dance that way. I mean, I, we, just to talk about the dancing part of it. I mean, when you want to talk about somebody who has to be in shape. I mean, when, if you've ever gone around and, and working out there, and, and, and we have some people that are here that um, when you get involved with any kind of our, our uh, business meetings or we, any of the organizations that come out and will have some kind of a ceremony, and if they do a dance at the very end, just the round dance. I mean, you have to be in shape to just to go around to do the, the round dance. So it's amazing to me to just come out here and watch and think of these dancers that are the contestants and the the athleticism that has that comes from being able to do what they do and then tack on 90 degree weather you know or rain whichever one it is and we've had some really hot days and they're out there in in full regalia and having to dance for how long that they need to be able to do that and it is absolutely amazing to me i mean you've got to be in really good shape to to be doing that it's 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 something to see. It really is. And I love watching the hat and boot. And so the specials that we've added this year will be fun. And if you have a chance to come out when those are going on, you'll enjoy watching those too, because it is something really different to see. Mm-hmm. Yes. And also, um, we're, our host drum this year is the boys. So uh, they are a spectacular group out of Minnesota. And uh, they'll be our host drum this year, and it's really honor for us to have a a group of this nature come in and uh, be our host. And so uh, we do have a uh, drum group contest too, and um, that that'll be first place is seven thousand, second five thousand, third. 3,000, 4th, 2,000, and 5th, 1,000. So you know there's going to be spectacular drumming and singing mm-hmm. out there at United Tribes. So um, I really, really uh, hope that you can come out and enjoy this spectacular event because it is something that is very, very uh, educational and uh, to to show you part of our our great heritage of Native Americans. And you don't need to be Native American to be out here. Yes, (laughs) yes. For the powwow, for the summit, to go to school, that's one of the things people ask all the time. It is a tribal school, but you do not need to be Native to be able to go to school there. We have 18 to 20 percent of our population, our student population, that is non-Native. And several, I don't know what the percentage is, but several of our staff and faculty are non-Native also. So you don't have to be Native to work there, and you don't have to be Native to to go to school there. But you will get a piece of the culture. So when you come out there, that is one thing about it being a, a tribal college, is that you do get to learn part of the culture. It is embedded in all of the classes some in some way or or another to be able to teach some piece of the culture to everybody that goes there. But with the with the powwow part of it, again, just know that your admission prices, it's $20. I mean, to me, that is great entertainment. From Thursday through Sunday, if you want to buy the pass, it's $20 for the whole four days. It's a $10 for a one-day pass. And it's free to children under five, or right? Mm-hmm. Free for children under five and elders and our seniors are, are also free. So if you're 65 and older, you get in for free. So we wanna make sure that they know that. And there are prices available, uh, discount prices available. If you wanna buy your ticket ahead of time, you can call the office um, out at, out at the um, tribes and be able to get uh, day t- daytime or the weekend passes uh, for $15. And then there also is, if you have 10 or more, if you've got a group, you've got a business and you want to be able to bring people out there, there there is a discount price for $10 for the whole weekend pass, but you have to get more than 10. So we have those two, but you can call out there for the different prices if you'd like to. And Julie, you know, we were talking a little bit about um, some of the different things that are going on. And I know we've got uh, Mr. Hunter Berg sitting here with us, just patiently waiting. And we're going to talk with Hunter this next um, break. But um, there are a couple other things that are happening during that week. We have a golf tournament 
And we also have a basketball tournament that's going on during Pow Wow Week. And so we'd like to be able to have Hunter talk a little bit about those. And then also about our athletic program that's out at United Tribes um, to let people know a little bit about what's going on with that and and um, how they're, how he goes about being able to get those students out there that are for our basketball team and start getting ready to doing our cheers. Are we getting our cheers ready for, yeah, for school happening and having this the basketball games and and uh, I'm getting excited about that part of it too. So we'll we'll start working on those things too. Right now, 68. Get the traffic and weather information you need anytime on Super Talk 1270 and online at supertalk1270.com. And we're back. This is United Tribes Technical College. This is Sharice, and we're talking today with Julie Kane. And we were talking about the powwow, what was coming up um, in September, and uh, some of the different events that are happening. Uh, during that time and 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 hopefully that everybody have any questions you can certainly give us a call to come out uh, or come on out to the campus and and uh, get your wristbands ahead of time if you want to and um, be ready to go for the powwow if you're wanting to be able to do that or come down for the parade we have so many different events that are going on during that week and a couple of them that we want to talk about um, that are happening that week also there's a golf tournament that we have that um, happens every year and also a basketball tournament and today we have Hunter Berg who is with us and Hunter is our athletic director out at United Tribes and for some of you out there probably know Hunter from back in his glory days of the basketball I remember him playing back in the days even with my, when my kids are playing so <laughs> he was an all-star and we're, we're really happy to be able to have him as our athletic director out at United Tribes. We're, we're thrilled that he's out there and he's done amazing things with our program. And we thank you for that, Hunter. And and uh, I know you've got a couple of new coaches and some different things that you want to talk about. So tell us about what's going on in your world. Okay. Well, thanks for having me out, Therese. I, um, it's a fun time of the year. Obviously, you mentioned that when uh, when you're in the college setting, that those first few days of school are filled with anticip- anticipation and excitement and um, craziness. It was no different. Yeah, yesterday <laughs> yes. was really fun seeing all the new students. But yeah, a couple of things. I know the the powwow is obviously probably our biggest event of the year, and um, athletics has always been a, a a part of it in various forms. But uh, this year is not going to be much different. We have um, some stalwart events. The golf tournament you mentioned has been out there before, and so this year we again will have it on Friday, and it's always out at Apple Creek, yeah, and they do Creek. a great job of hosting us. And how uh, many teams do you have for that? You know, usually. pre-register, um, I think we usually get about 20 teams that are pre-registered. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it goes really, really well. Uh, and, and, it, and people always ask, can I register late? And sometimes we get in a little bit of a pinch just from cart availability. Mm-hmm. The good thing this year, we stopped out and visited with Ty out at Apple Creek, and they've bought a bunch of new carts. Yes, so I don't think carts. it's going to be a problem for anybody that wants to golf to come out the day of or a couple days before or day before. Give us a call. Uh, I think we can fit everybody in this year. It's a fun event, and really what it is is a, is a chance to support the athletic program out at United. United Tribes. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't give a lot of prize money, our big prizes away, what it is. It's a chance for people to enjoy a good day of golf during our powwow, but more importantly, to support our athletic program. Um, all the proceeds and all the profits from the tournament get kicked back into athletic scholarships. So for mm-hmm. us, it's a chance to um, enhance our program and offer scholarships to student athletes that we'd like to see come out and play for us. So we're very appreciative of anybody that comes out and golfs in the tournament. We have a few sponsors that step up each year and help make the event possible and successful. So uh, this year, uh, we've we've put an order in for good weather, so I think that will <laughs> yes, go really well. <laughs> <laughs> for us and the whole powwow would be great. But um, it's a fun event. It's a four-person scramble format. And uh, we handicap it. So we have first, second, and third place for both the growth score and the net score. And that seems to work out really well. It encourages golfers of all different levels to come out and, and just enjoy the day. But we'll be out there. Uh, we have a meal afterwards. And uh, for a, a per, an individual person to register is $120 yeah. uh, per golfer. And that gives them the round of golf, uh, the meal afterwards, lots of door prizes, and then the chance at the first, second, and third place prizes. We have a $10,000 hole-in-one contest in one of the par threes. And, yes. and each of the par three will have a hole in one contest and then there'll be another uh, a number of other fun games on each holes and not not all of them will be geared towards the very very top end golfers i mean the, some of these are kind of for fun it's who, whoever can hit their ball closest to a coke can or something like that mm-hmm. and so it, it goes really well uh, we encourage anybody of any level to come out and just enjoy the day of golfing and, and really um, support our athletic program so that's on friday uh, 11 o'clock is 11 a.m is registration time with a 12 o'clock uh, shotgun start right at noon i there. love that so. shotgun start it's like in golf 
that's, yep. that's the best. <laughs> get them going and get them started. So yeah. good event. But they can call me um, at the college with uh, any information. There's also information on our website. Of course, you see the powwow. Um, uh, it's kind of a prominent feature on our website. But clicking yes. on there, you'll be able to find registration forms. But one of the easiest ways is just to call the college and ask for mm-hmm. me, and I'll give them all the information that they might need. But uh, this year, we all, we're also trying something new on the athletic side. We're going to try a, uh, a different version of our basketball tournament. We've always had a three-on-three. Three. Three. I one. shouldn't say always. Yeah, a couple, a couple, three years now we've had a three-on-three three tournament. And uh, we've decided to change the format a little bit and go to more of a high school-aged five-on-five regular team tournament. And it isn't a high school tournament as in uh, the regular sanctioned high school teams, but it's for those high school age kids who tend to play a lot of basketball. Mm-hmm. And, of course, uh, basketball in the Native American culture and Indian country is, is just a huge it's event. Huge. And obviously for our college, uh, we're really looking forward to it because we think we can get some teams on campus, and then we can watch them play and recruit right. them a little oh, bit. Yeah. So, oh, that's yeah. why we're doing yeah, this. It's okay. a, I, I think it's going to be a great event. Uh, uh-huh. It's in our first year. Um, so we don't know exactly how successful it'll be this first year, but I think it's one that'll keep growing and growing mm-hmm. and growing. But Friday, Saturday, Sunday will be that tournament. And so if the teams fill up, we'll have a, a gym that's running I won't say 24 hours a day, but about 18 hours a day. (laughs) Yeah, so it'll be a lot of fun. Um, And then also one event that uh, is pretty pretty closely tied with athletics as well as a Thunderbird run. And it hasn't been mentioned, but on Saturday, and a lot of people do uh, participate in that. And uh, it's a fun, fun event for the the powwow. There's a 10K, a 5K, and also a small kids run. And the kids yeah. run, which I think is great that you do that. I love that yeah, part. Yeah, it is. They do a great job. So for runners... Um, Again, of every level. It isn't as if it's a, a highly competitive race. Uh, we want people to come out, experience the powwow, mm-hmm. and if they like to run, participate in the powwow run. It's both 10K, 5K, like we mentioned. And then if you've got young kids, bring them out with you. After the 10K and 5K are over, we let the kids run around. They each get a participation ribbon, and uh, they all cross the finish line just mm-hmm. like the adults. So for them, it's it, it's a big deal. They have a lot of fun with it. And uh, last year, I think, was our biggest powwow run we've ever had. And again, you don't have to pre-register. Just show up that morning. Mm-hmm. The run starts at 8 a.m. So if you wanted to show up at set between 7 and 8, um, we'll get you registered. We'll get you ready for the run. And um, again, if the if the weather's nice and at the, in the morning, it's a nice thing about those runs. It's usually nice and cool. Mm-hmm. But a really nice course uh, that's mapped out. It, uh, it takes you through a couple different parts of town there in the south part of town. So good chance for everybody to come out and enjoy the run. What's the registration fee for for the for the run? You know, I will uh, I will say what I think it is. I can't remember. It was mentioned yesterday, but um, there's a couple different different groups. I believe it's twenty dollars for a <clears throat> I'll say a normal runner, mm-hmm. but we actually have some specials. All of our United Tribe students are for free. Mm-hmm. But if you're a student at either the University of Mary or at Bismarck State College, and you bring your student ID with, mm-hmm. it's only five dollars. And uh, we also have our our dancers um, that are competing for points, and part of their points is being able to run in the powwow run. And if they do that again, it's five dollars for them. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just basically to cover a, the cost of a T-shirt the because every t-shirt. participant will get, get a t-shirt. T-shirt. Yeah, yep. and the kids run is free; they don't have to pay anything for that. So yeah, good event. I hope people come out. And then uh, you asked about the athletic program. So yes, um, tell us a little bit about. I it. I know we're limited in time here. I could talk for an hour, but I won't take the whole hour. <laughs> <clears throat> but um, no, this time of the year for for athletics programs is no different than I, uh, the rest of the campus. Pretty exciting. Um, each year, especially in junior college, you're looking forward to your team, and a lot of these kids that come in are. Um, carry with them high, uh, a high level of accolades and accomplishments in high school. Mm-hmm. The, the, the fun part is, is trying to mesh them together. And this year, those people that will be meshing them together um, have me very, very excited. We've hired two new basketball coaches this year. Um, I'll talk about each one of them, but uh, right off the top, their, their names for the men are Pete Conway and, and for the women is Kaya Herbal. And, uh, you know, real quickly about Pete, you know, we're in North Dakota. If we were in Montana, every person knows who Pete Conway is him. in Montana. Yes. In North Dakota, uh, some of us do know who he is, but Pete is a, is a tremendous uh, person, um, young coach that uh, has been a college coach before at a little Bighorn College, but it's really through his playing days that he really kind of made a name for himself. Mm-hmm. He came out of Billings West High School school as a very heralded player yes, and actually player. yeah and went to montana state and played for four years was an all-conference player as a senior uh and so for 
us, the, the, the beauty of Pete is he's walked in the shoes that we want all of our student athletes to walk yeah. in, um, yep. had a path that led to education, but used his as basketball abilities to, to get that to education. Get yeah. So really a, a true role model for our student athletes. And it's nice when we can say, look at your coach and listen to him because he's, he's done it. He's not, mm-hmm. he's not saying something that he hasn't done himself. So really excited about Pete. He's just does a great job. And, um, you know, we, we are excited for both teams because on the women's side, Kaya Herbal is our new women's coach. And in North Dakota, uh, if you're a basketball fan, you probably do remember Kaya. Um, came out of Newtown High School. Um, and uh, I was lucky enough to get to coach her actually up at Williston yes, State. So I, um, I think everything she accomplished was because of me. Of course, that's what <laughs> I tell her. But uh, she was a I'll say not a great player coming out of high school, but what she did afterwards in college was truly remarkable. Had a nice career at Wilson State and then went on to be an All-American Conference Player of the Year at Dickinson State. Actually played overseas in Portugal for a couple mm-hmm. years after that professionally. So she, along yeah, with she's Pete, traveled. yeah, she's been around uh, both our country and uh, overseas mm-hmm. playing basketball and being a part of it. And um, I guess I'm proud of her because uh, we, we had an agreement that she would get her education and she kind of, I'll say, let me down a little bit. She left to go play overseas professionally and didn't finish her degree, but came back right away and got it. And, and uh, you know, I'm really proud that she did that. But we're excited about it. She's had a tremendous recruiting year already. And uh, her, her incoming class is, is a great one. So we're looking forward to both teams, but I'm really excited for Kaya and the women's team. Um, we introduced them the other day at, uh, at, at New... Uh, our, our, yeah, orientation. our orientation for our faculty and staff. So for many, they didn't know who Pete and Kyle were. So it was really a chance for me to, to, to introduce them to our faculty and staff and, and talk a little bit about them. The one thing that I, I'm really excited about is that neither would come on this show and say the things that I just said about themselves. They're very humble and um, you know very down to earth. So I will do the bragging for them, and, and I like doing that. Yes. Um, but they're never going to rely on their playing abilities as their right to coach or their proof that they will be a good coach. Playing doesn't make you a, being a great player doesn't make you a great coach, but both of these already understand that and don't rely on their playing abilities to, to, uh, to try and teach what their players should be doing. They're tremendous teachers of the game, uh, tremendous people, and uh, I think most importantly, tremendous, tremendous role models. So we are really, really looking forward to the year with both Pete and Kaya. So any fans out there, you have reason to be excited. And anybody who wants to come out and watch the game, we start up in November. Come on out say, and enjoy the game. Yeah, when do we start? <laughs> it's right around the corner. Yes. Yeah, yep. and we'll be ready to go. That'd be perfect. Well, thank you so much, Hunter, for bringing, for bringing that to us and letting us know a little bit more about what's going on with athletics. We'll be looking forward to that, and I can't wait for that first basketball game. I can't either. We'll see you out there. (laughs) Yes, I'll be cheering. You know it. (laughs) I know it. I know it. (laughs) Right now, 72. Get the app called Radio Pup for your iPhone and take us everywhere you go. Bismarck and Mandan's own Super Talk, 1270. Okay, and we're back. This is United Tribes Technical College, and uh, we're wrapping up our hour here with a couple other things. We're just talking about the United Tribes International Powwow and our Leadership Summit that is happening during September, um, right after the week, right after Labor Day. And uh, we've been talking a little bit about the what's happening with those different events. And we just had Hunter here talking about the athletic part. And there was one other event that we wanted to mention real quick is the softball tournament that goes on during Powwow Week. And Julie and I were just mentioning that, and and that starts on Friday, Friday afternoon at one o'clock, and they have teams and and uh, that are set up for that, and and it's a bigger, it's a bigger softball tournament. It's it has grown immensely, and they've changed it up a little bit last year, and and again this year, and uh, they'll be going from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday on that. And for any of these different events that we've been talking about, if you want to check the website, which is uttc.edu, that's our website. And our phone number, 255-3285, 225-3285. So you can always give us a call or check the website for any of these events. You can click on where it says the United Tribes Powwow is on there, and all of the events are listed there. If there's a registration form, you can click on there and be able to uh, print it off from there. If you have any questions, you can certainly give us a call, and uh, we can tell you more about it. We'd, we would love to have you there. Um, and now we want to turn a little bit uh, to our attention in a different direction. And, and we have Lynette Schaff here. And Lynette is with our wellness 
uh, department on campus. And she's got an event that's going to be coming up here in September that we wanted to be able to share with you and tell you a little bit more about what's going on. It's a very important topic and one of those things that is um, at, at, the, at the top of what people are talking about and, and something that's really important. So, Lynette, why don't you tell us a little bit about um, this event that you have coming up? All right. Um, thank you, Sharice. Um, yeah, we're really excited. Um, on October 1st and 2nd, we have um, Devin Rush, who is, um, she was actually an American Idol contestant. Um, she actually went pr fairly far in the contest, um, who is going, she's now a singer-songwriter in California, and she is coming to speak to us on campus. She is with an organization called um, Hey Ugly, um, which, <laughs> hey, ugly which is actually, <laughs> what does that mean? Um, the ugly is actually stands for unique, gifted, lovable you. So it's mm. taking that negative and turning it into a positive. And that's what this whole organization is about, helping um, those that are being bullied, harassed, or in any of those situations, even just our own self-talk, self-bullying is what she kind of talks about, you know, turning those negative thoughts and actions and behaviors into positives. And so she's going to be on our campus on October 1st and 2nd. Um, we are going to be doing um, several different events within those two days. Um, Thursday morning, the for October 1st, we are going to be doing a tri-college um, event out at, on campus. Um, it will be starting around 9 o'clock in the morning, and um, it might even be something that the colleges are going to be doing as their diversity institute that oh, they... Oh, okay, um, sure, part of that. Exactly, that they have with the, the colleges. And so um, we're really excited that they will be out there and it'll be a all-college event. And then later in that day, um, there will be a time for a meet and greet starting around 3 o'clock. Um, and that'll go until about 5. At around 5, we're going to be having a meal. And all the community, we want to come out to meet her. She'll sign autographs. She'll... Um, the mayor is going to be coming to make an appearance, um, and then um, we'll have a little meal, and then at 6.30 she'll start her presentation for the community. Um, so families and everybody are encouraged to come out that day, and um, she will be also doing her presentation and a mini concert. So. She'll be singing some of her songs. Oh, and she's going to sing, too. Exactly. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so that's really exciting. And um, then the next morning, she will do a presentation for the Bismarck Mandan Middle Schools. And um, we're really excited about that, since that is definitely the age group that we really want to um, start the prevention. The sooner you reach those um, the younger ones. The, exactly. And, mm -hmm. and stuff the better. So um, because as we all know, that's that's when, you know, we were seeing all the, the violence. We're seeing the, the suicides, you know, in those ages. So we really want to um, reach those kids. So we're so excited that she's doing that. But then she has to leave because she's got a concert the next day. So she'll have to hurry on. But... Um, we're really excited for this event to be coming. Well, and that's really nice. I mean, that's one of the things. And Julie, Julie Kane, who's here too, who is is in charge of the wellness d department out on United Tribes campus. And for so for both of you, I mean, this is just one of the many things that that you that your department brings to the campus. I mean, I think that that's one of the pieces that is very unique to United Tribes Technical College is the fact that we have this wellness program that we're able to have uh, wraparound services for the students that they normally don't get anywhere else where they would go to school. So it's very unique. It's one of the very unique things I think we have out at, on campus. And that would be something I'd want you to talk a little bit more about um, 
because we have this event, but it's it's just one of the many things that you guys do for, for the wellness part. So talk a little bit more about your department and what you do there. Um, yeah, exactly. You know, in the wellness um, center, we have our student health, which is where I'm part of. Um, so that means we have two nurses on campus for the students to come uh, between eight and five. Um, if they need just about anything from a headache to sore throat, um, we have nurse practitioners that actually come to campus to uh, see and treat students. Um, we work with the chemical health. We work with the um, personal and academic counselors. We have strengthening lifestyles who I mean, they have t personal trainers and a whole exercise facility. You could have your own and personal trainer exactly. right there and on campus. She's amazing. All of those amazing. are free to the students. Free to our students, yeah, to, absolutely. And their families to come and um, participate in and to talk to somebody. I mean, even if it's just to ask a question or um, just get some advice on what they should do, um, they can just come right on in and... Um, We'll help them. And help them. And Julie, part of that reason why is because, and why is that? Because the health, the wellness piece is so important when your whole, our whole being, we're just making right. sure that we're taking right, care Cherise. of the mind and the body. Yep. That's exactly right, Sharice. And that we know as Native people that we have to take care of ourselves. And uh, that's our whole focus at the Wellness Center, that we reach your mind, body, spirit, and that we can help our students grow so that they may obtain their ultimate goal, and that's graduation, their mm -hmm. education. It's the key. It's the victory to life. So we are an important part of their growth at United Tribes. I think so, because you have so much to do with the studying piece of it, but you've got to be able to know that you have balance, you know, and where do you find that balance? And, and we offer that out at United Tribes, which to me, I think that is one of the, again, very unique for us, because a lot of colleges, they don't have that part of, of what we do for that part of it. So it's, it's such a personal connection, and it's a supportive role. So those students that are coming um, and they're all alone it's not like when i went to college right. you know they what did they you do have face you know i we had to ask questions and we were told to go to that building but i mean this is a personal connection with people they will know us by face by name they'll just stop in to get a we have fruit popcorn you know things like it's that so they'll inviting just stop over in there and mm -hmm. say hi and oh well, while i'm here can you help me with this? Or I have a question about that. And it's um, it's a lot different. It's a and you have good the counselors that are there just willing to be able to, if you've got a problem, you can come and make an appointment and be able to just sit down and talk to somebody. Exactly. Very welcoming, very open. Yep. Well, I think those are some of the most important things that are happening out on campus. And, and I, I thank you, Lynette, for coming on and, and being thank able you. to talk about this very important event that's coming up and and we'll talk more about that again exactly. and uh, I'm excited to have her come here and, and be able to do that and Julie thanks so much everything that you do with the wellness program to be able to help our students and as they grow along with um, not only our students but our staff because the wellness program is there for us as staff also and which is really nice exactly. that we do that too you know that's one of the things that the president and the board um, want to make sure that as staff we have a balanced life so that we're doing the best that we can do for our students and making sure that our wellness is is as much of a part of making while well, we do our work all day long too so right. thank you again for for being here and i really appreciate it and thanks for listening and and we'll talk again and we thank you for uh, being a part of united tribes technical college and come out and visit us anytime